In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use task paper and hook to efficiently and effectively organize and execute cognitively demanding projects. Task paper is this surprisingly nimble, plain text to-do app for Mac. It's super easy to use, yet so useful. Whenever you're creating a substantial document, you've likely got several documents like a to-do list, an outline, an elements file, a scratch pad, a title file, and more. Having templates for each can improve the quality and efficiency of your work. So when I start a new creative project, I create a new project folder by duplicating my templates folder. I weed out the files I don't need and I rename the remaining files. Of course, that's a process that you can automate. As you can see, this screencast project folder contains a bunch of useful files and folders. Okay, so there's a task paper file. Since task paper documents are files, they can have sections and that turns out to be super useful. For instance, you always need to think about the rationale, constraints, and objectives of the artifact you're creating, whether it's code, a document, or whatever. So there's a section for that and to record your decisions, and the actual task list will go here, and you might have post-completion actions. And this folder contains a bunch of other useful files, such as uh, the elements file, including the thesis and major claims, your arguments, and uh, whatnot. And this file here is for the actual composition. I'm gonna call this the script. You can have a file for your outline, a scratch pad, and your title. Quite often, one finds oneself navigating back and forth between a project's to-do list and various project files that are scattered throughout one's file system, which may require using Spotlight, not to mention web pages that may require a search engine or using bookmarks, and then there's emails and more to contend with. Without Hook, you can spend a lot of time repeatedly searching for information that your to-do list calls for. But with Hook, you can literally make your project's task list a navigation hub. Here's one way to do it. So here I am in my task paper document. Using a keyboard shortcut, I invoke Hook's contextual window. Notice that there aren't any hooked links here. Clicking on the title menu, I expose the very handy universal reveal file in Finder command. And here's the task paper file I was editing. I can bring up the Hook window again and get the same result, right? So now I can grab this task paper file and drag and drop it onto Hook's menu bar icon. You can see that it's filled the top well. Now I can drag and drop a bunch of other files that I want hooked to this initial file onto the menu bar icon. I could drop it here, but to make it more obvious, I'll drop it in the bottom well. And now I've been told that five items have been linked to the top item here, which is a task paper file. I'll bring up Hook again and notice this time on the same file that I have one, two, three, four, five hooked links. Now, of course, the point of this is that I can navigate back and forth between these hooked items. So I can double click on this item here and I go back to my task paper file and I can navigate here, for instance, to the linked outline. This scenario isn't so impressive yet because all the files were already in the same directory. But most of us don't always have the luxury of keeping all of our project files in the same folder. For this screencast, for example, my files are spread over four different folders. This, 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 there's a subfolder here. And as you'll see, I have web pages, emails, an OmniFocus project, and more. One of the key files in this screencast project, of course, is the ScreenFlow file, which is tucked away somewhere. Now, ScreenFlow is a screencasting and video editing app that I'm using. Obviously, I need to quickly navigate between these two files, even after rebooting my Mac. So I'm going to extend my task paper hub file to include it. I could use the old drag and drop trick, but in this case, it's much faster to use Hook's universal copy link command. So I bring up Hook in the context of this ScreenFlow document, and I will copy link. Now I'll go back to my task paper document, bring up hook again. Notice that there's no hook link to the ScreenFlow document yet. Using the hook to copied link command, bringing hook up again, you'll see, oh, guess what? There's a link. So I can navigate back and forth between these two documents. So hit return, I'm there. Hit return again, I'm there. Now I can reboot my Mac, I can be in totally different contexts, I can close the files or whatever. I can immediately navigate between all of these documents by going back and forth to my hub. And using a hub basically means it's pretty clean. In the context of any spoke, I just see a link to the hub. But of course I can create arbitrary networks from here. So we're already creating something interesting. We've got different kinds of files here. In fact, I have two related projects here. I've got this screencast, 
But if we reveal this file in the Finder, I'll see the other stuff that's related in the Finder. I've also got a blog post that I'm going to be writing about this screencast. So what you can see here is in the context of one, my original screencast thing, I, I'm now connected to this blog post. And if I hit the right arrow key, you can see that in fact I had started this project earlier. So this particular task paper file is already connected to a web page. I've connected it to another web page, which is the tax task paper web page. I've got a PDF file here that will open PDF Pen Pro. So these things are all connected. So I can quickly navigate now between this blog post project and the screencast project. Something else I'd like to illustrate is that you can do a lot of things with these links that hook serves. So here I've brought up the hook window again on this PDF file, right? So I'm in this PDF file, bring up hook. I'm going to use hooks copy markdown link this time, and I'm going to paste that in this task paper file. You get a fully formatted markdown link that shows your name and a hook address. And by the way, if you want, and you're working on one computer and you're not sharing these links, you could just delete everything after the question mark and just keep this shorter, nicer link. So that's another way that you can use hook with uh, task paper or any other program for that matter that supports editing. You can basically use hook to very rapidly get links to anything such as this document here. Notice that I don't have to use the title menu and click. I could just use command C to copy link. So I'll illustrate that, copy the link, go back to task paper and paste it. Boom, there's a link. I'm Luke Bodewine, author of Cognitive Productivity Books, Adjunct Prof, and lead designer of the Hook Productivity app, which links your digital life.